and I'd like to thank the Minister for herself taking this uh, topical issue uh, personally today, which is um, uh, on an issue that we've discussed on a number of occasions ourselves, and I, I know that you uh, understand uh, my passion for the issue around improved youth services in County Kildare and some of the challenges we face from a demographic um, perspective in our county. And I'd particularly like to thank you for your engagement with representatives of Kildare Youth Services um, in recent months. I know you met with them recently in mid-November uh, and previously when we were delighted to have you down in Kildare Town in mid-June uh, when you opened um, the, the Hive Youth Hub, um, a great facility in Kildare Town. And I hope these meetings and engagement, as well as the discussions I've had with you offline, Minister, have helped to highlight the scale of the challenges facing Kildare in terms of provision of youth services and helped you to understand the unique position of Kildare, uh, which has a growing youth population and above average, uh, a growing population in general, above average youth population, uh, coupled with historic low levels of service across the spectrum, from essential universal services to specialised services. Uh, you would have witnessed a strong and positive in, uh, and established interagency relationships that exist among our Children and Young People's Services Committee and our Local Community Development Committee, uh, which means that we can maximise the impact of resources available to us and produce tangible results such as the Hive which you visited. I am aware the group presented a proposal to you setting out the resources required to begin to increase our service levels for children and young people and families in Kildare. But I'm going to focus specifically on three of these areas today, Minister. Uh, the need for a dedicated youth officer for our county, uh, an increased uh, need for family resource centres in our county, and the proposal to buy that hive building. Um, at present, we share a youth officer in, uh, with County Wicklow, and I know this is uh, funded through the uh, KWETB. Um, but Kildare is a county with one of the fastest growing populations in the state. It increased by 5.6% in the 2016 census compared to the national average of 3.7%. According to the 2011 census, 28.3% of our population is 17 and under compared to the national average of just 25%. And I expect this trend to continue in the uh, 2016 census. Kildare is too big a county uh, with an above average youth population not to have a dedicated youth officer for our county alone. Um, and I would ask maybe that you might just outline what engagement there has been between your department and Kildare Wicklow ETB um, to, to address any impediments there are to, to fill in this post uh, that, is, that is really cru crucial for our county. Uh, the second point, Minister, is in the entire county of County Kildare, we have two family resource centres for a population of over 220,000 people. Counties with much less populations than ours have considerably more family resource centres. Um, Kerry has 12, Donegal has 9, Mayo has 7. And all of those populations of those counties are smaller than what we have in Kildare with our 220,000, yet we just have just two family resource centres. And I know from engaging with those family resource centres the value they are and the great work they do, and we just need to have more of them in our county to, to cover the workload that's there. And finally, Minister, the, the proposal to buy out the Hive building in Kildare Town from Unpost, uh, it's a cost-effective proposal, would greatly add to the youth facilities in not just Kildare Town, but in the overall county. Already the Hive is providing services such as a youth cafe and meeting space uh, that were not there before. And originally the plan was to pilot uh, a youth hub for the entire county. And this still would be a great venture. Uh, to operate out of this place. But what we need to do is be able to secure the building um, so that we obviously secure and maintain uh, the provision of services that are there and the facilities that are there for the, youth, the young people of Kildare Town at present, but also then to allow us to expand those services uh, into the future. And we have the interagency approach there. There's an awful lot more we can do, and that's a, a one-off cost um, that I really would ask your department to look at as you look at your budgets for 2017 to see how that might be facilitated. Thank you, Lasky Horner. Very much. I got the uh, Ministry of Four Minutes. Uh, and thank you, uh, Deputy Hayden, uh, for raising uh, this issue. And as you said, we've spoken about these issues uh, a number of times. Um, my department provides funding for schemes and programs to support youth services. These services are for young people throughout the county, including those from disadvantaged communities, and that 380,000 young people benefit from this funding. Approximately 1,400 youth work staff work in 477 projects supported by the government, and importantly, 40,000 and volunteers give their time and expertise to these very valuable projects, and I've met a number of those volunteers in Kildare. Um, in 2016, funding of $51 million has been provided by my department for these schemes, and in addition, $2.6 million in capital funding, also provided in Budget 2016, is being used to support small-scale projects, including refurbishment, health and safety fit-outs, and accessibility improvements in local youth services. In Kildare, then, in 2016, an amount of 
1,405 euros has been allocated for the projects and services under the Kildare Youth Services, which operates under Youth Work Ireland. Uh, this was an increase of more than 12,000 euros on the previous year's allocation, and my department provides funding to Kildare Youth Services under the Special Projects for Youth Scheme. That's in respect of six local, local youth projects in Athai, Nace, Leakslip, Newbridge, the Curra, and Kildare Town and a youth information center in Nace. I was delighted to visit and launch the Hive, which you referred to, uh, Kildare Town Youth Hub in June this year. 50,000 euros, as you know, in capital funding was provided towards the cost of developing this youth cafe facility, which offers a safe environment for young people. And my department supports youth work activities at a local level through the local youth club grant scheme. These grants are made available to all youth clubs and groups through the local education training boards and more than 100 clubs in Kildare and Wicklow receive grants under the 2016 Local Youth Gr Club Grant Scheme. Some 93,294 euros has been allocated to Kildare and Wicklow ETB for this purpose in 2016. I recently met with representatives, as you already outlined, of the Kildare Local Community Development Committee and the Children and Young People Services Committee for Kildare to discuss their proposal. And in addition, officials from my department met Kildare Youth Services and have previously visited Kildare Youth Service to hear about their work and their proposals for the provision of services in County Kildare. At local level, youth officers of the education and training boards have an important support role on behalf of my department to local youth services. They work closely together to address issues that arise for local services, and the deputy will be aware that a number of funding schemes supporting youth services were the subject of a value for money and policy review in 2014, and that review involved an in-depth scrutiny of the impact youth service provision has on the lives of young people. Work on the development of a new funding scheme has been prioritized by, by my department and consultations with youth services are continuing with a view to introducing the new youth funding program in line with the review over the coming years. There is currently one youth officer in post, as you've said, covering Wicklow and Kildare ETB. The youth officer is active in both counties. However, my department has started a mapping exercise with all ETBs as part of a value for money exercise. The results of that exercise are due before Christmas and officials will be analyzing the results in early 2017. If there is evidence for f the further funding of a second youth officer post, then this will be considered. Um, as the deputy is aware, Budget 2017 has provided an additional five and a half million in current funding to my department to support the provision of, of youth services, and that funding will be used for programs that target, it, target disadvantaged young people and assist national youth organizations in their work. In conjunction with national organizations and local services, we are developing local service development needs for 2017, and we will complete that post process as soon as possible. Colonel Michael, Deputy Hidden, two minutes. I'd like to thank the Minister for her detailed response and um, her, her overall interest um, in the issue and, and its particular impact in South Kildare. Um, Minister, as a county, where Kildare isn't fully understood. Um, the scale of our county, the number of people who live here, the number of children and young people we have, the growth rate and the level of need that our county is experiencing is sometimes um, you know, underestimated. And County Kildare faces particular challenges. Historically, we do have very low levels uh, of those services from the spectrums and uh, across, as I mentioned earlier. And traditional definitions of deprivation and interpretations of these and the manner in which these are applied in resource allocation do not appropriately reflect and respond to the complex needs of our county, uh, as well as the fact that the geography of our county poses uh, a challenge for service provision due to the both urban and rural uh, mix and the sheer scale of the overall size of our county. But the biggest challenge we've had in Kildare is this um, perception of affluence and perception of wealth that doesn't uh, mirror reality in every corner of the county all over. And um, I, I think that's the biggest challenge we have. And if your department can take that on board, help us to expand our family resource provision, help us to purchase the Hive building, help us to get our dedicated youth officer. And as we attempt to play catch up, um, you know, if there's recognition, and, and this is needed from more ministers than just yourself, Minister, but uh, on this specific area of youth, understand the demographics of our very young population and our historically low service levels and realise that in playing catch-up, we need to do more than just a small increase 
as the rest of the county gets a small increase because the recession actually hit us hardest because our low levels, uh, um, because our levels were low before the recession. When the cuts came, it really cut to the bone in, in Kildare South, and there are uh, statistics there to point to that. So I look forward to the review in 2017 and see. Look forward to working with you further that we see improved resources uh, into the whole area of youth provisioning in Kildare and South Kildare in particular. Okay. Um, thank you again, uh, Deputy Hayden. Um, and as you rightly identify, uh, you know there there perhaps are different perceptions of of County Kildare than what is the reality. And and this certainly was um, uh, made aware to me by the representatives uh, of your county that came in and, and met with me, uh, both both here as as well as out, in, out as well as out in the county. And I am particularly grateful for having that awareness having been raised. And um, secondly. Uh, there's two ways in which you've, I think that there's particularly key there, as you've said back to me, and that has to do with uh, the numbers of young people uh, in the county, but also the reality of uh, the mixed, um, I suppose, um, socioeconomic backgrounds throughout the county that, the, that uh, as distinct from maybe the more affluent perception that the county has. And, and so in relation to the mapping exercise that I referred to in my initial remarks, as I said, I think really what we we hope is if that mapping exercise demonstrates evidence of need, both with regard to the numbers of young people and perhaps that mixed socioeconomic uh, demographics, uh, then, and then, then we will have something to work with in order to, to take a look specifically, I suppose, in relation to the request uh, for um, the fund, funding of a, set of a youth officer just, just for the county. Um, and I know that my own department has gone back to the people that we spoke with that we're very open to continuing that discussion particularly in relation to that post um, and and I look as you said I look forward to to continuing that conversation in relation so too I think that kind of mapping helps us to understand better um, the requirements uh, perhaps uh, for a fa uh, for um, a, an additional family resource center as well as uh, a capital funding your uh, your proposals that came in to me I, I indicated a number of other aspects to that which in my conversations with your people, we went through in a detailed manner and went back and forth and I made some suggestions in terms of how to follow up all of those, but particularly the ones that you identify here.